Dean Graziosi just responded to us, kind of. He pulled a sneaky, sneaky move. And I want to take this video. I'm going to make it quick, okay? But I want to call it out as it's happening because my advantage when dealing with these people is that I know their tricks. I know the way they operate. They're the dark arts. I know them. I don't use them, but I know them. And I'm willing to call them out for your benefit, lest you be tricked, lest you be deceived by their false humility their fake vulnerability and their forced positivity. That's what we're going to talk about today. But first, let's talk about him addressing us. Now, there was this Instagram story that he made that I was pretty sure was talking about us. When someone alters the facts and talks shit, it's brutal. You guys feel the same way? DM, DM me if you feel the same way. And yeah, of course, that was about us. It was released the same day as my video. But ultimately, what am I, what am I misrepresenting? I, I read off a court case. I mean, I was just reading the FTC. I, I could have done that just straight off. I was trying to make it entertaining as well, but ultimately that was the substance of the argument was, hey, you've got an, <laughs> an FTC case on your hands, buddy. So I wasn't going to say anything, but today I got a tweet from a man named Jason Owens. Bro, did Dean Graziosi low-key respond to you? So I was like, uh, I don't think so. I hadn't seen it. So I go to his YouTube page. I see this, the secret to finding a real mentor exposed. Now look at that thumbnail for a second. Already I'm sus, you know, Online gurus exposed. Let's look into it. So I go to this Incredible. page and they're talking about finding a mentor, da, 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 da. But then I see in the description, fake gurus. Hmm, that's what I talk about all the time. I see fake gurus. And so I think surely he's talking about me. He's talking about my video. He's debunking me. He's proving me wrong. Surely he's addressing it because basically the FTC added him to a gigantic $400 million real estate scam case. And uh, I talked about it in my video. And so maybe he's adding some context, but then I watched the video and no, he did none of that. They don't mention us at all. They don't mention uh, the FTC's allegations. They don't mention the case. They don't mention anything about Dean being in deep, deep trouble. And yet in the description, you see fake guru mentioned several times. In the tags, you see Dean Graziosi, Tony Robbins, scam, exposed, FTC, fraud, insider's edge, nudge, Dean Graziosi exposed, how to find a mentor, mentor, mentorship, fake, gurus so he's trying to keyword his way to the top of the search result when you look up dean graziosi's scam but he actually isn't addressing it at all it's just some random video that he tagged with these things in fact the one part that could be construed as relevant was this guy giving dean graziosi like a softball compliment of, oh man, you were so credible and I wish we were back in the days of television because back when people were on TV, you could tell that they were legit because they were on TV. They had money to be on TV. You were credible because you, ha you had the money to be on TV. And now it's like, you don't have to do anything to post. You don't have to do anything to go uh, stand in front of somebody's jet and be like, oh yeah, exactly. DM me for success. Like, dude, it, we need to clean out the it made, I, but, I feel bad because it, like when I was younger, it made I could easily identify who was credible, right? Like I, I could say, okay, this dude's on TV. What? No, no, no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're saying that because someone's on TV, they're credible? He's <laughs> credible. <laughs> now, credible, right? Like I, I could say, okay, this dude's on TV. He's <laughs> credible. <laughs> huh? Hey, have we all forgotten where Don LaPrey came from? The second way to make money that I stumbled onto was placing tiny classified ads in the newspaper. Have we th forgotten about Tom Vu? I know you may be thinking, my course may be the same like everybody else. My course is not the same like everybody else. You think that just because someone had an infomercial? <laughs> They're credible, dude. This is what we're dealing with, guys. This is the big puff piece that he's trying to cover up the FTC. He's tagging it with FTC. They don't even talk about the FTC. Now, why would he do that, you're asking? Why would Dean do such a sneaky thing? Because most people aren't going to see these tags. They're invisible to most people who don't have like plugins like this. The reason is very simple. He's trying to hide it. He's trying to be the first result when you search it. He wants to steal that little result so you don't find out what he's been up to. Because again, he doesn't address it at all here. He doesn't address us. He doesn't address the FTC case. And this is where I want to address a real problem that I find in the self-help industry. Because sure, they're all well-intentioned. Don't they say that? They say, yeah, I just want to help you. Just give me money, I'll help you. But there's this forced positivity problem that comes from all of them believing in the secret, new thought, all this kind of 
mumbo jumbo about believe it and you will do it. Mindset is everything. Oh, just have a forced positivity mindset. The problem with it is there's nothing wrong with just a little bit of positivity, a little bit of uh, dream it, you will do it. But if you take that to the extreme, then you're incentivized, nay, even told, taught, it's dogmatic to ignore negativity. To just, hey, pretend it doesn't exist and it will go away. <laughs> but the FTC doesn't go away. Neither does Coffeezilla. I don't just go away because you pretend that I don't exist and try to keyword your way into search terms like fake guru and FTC and Insider's Edge and Nudge. They don't go away just because you're positive thinking. And it's exactly like Scott Yancey, what Scott did. Remember this guy from our last video about Dean Graziosi? He says Scott Yancey responds to scams. He only made this according to the lawsuit itself in order to hide the videos that were exposing him as a scam. He tried to keyword his way in there and it worked. But to see Dean Graziosi do this too, shows you everything you need to know. These people all have the same playbook. It's done over and over and over again. And this time I wanted to call it out exactly as it was happening. Anyway, that's it. And don't forget to smash like and subscribe. Thank you.